Hi and welcome to the lab. Today we will be looking at the inertial propulsion work of Tokio Muramatsu. Please, join us now. Hello everyone, Brian Sinclair here. This week we're going to talk about a friend of mine, Tokio Muramatsu. We've worked together on a few projects and we continue to work together. Collaboration is very important and combining different people's perspectives is always an amazing thing, especially when it comes to scientific endeavors. So let's move right into Tokyo Muramatsu with his legacy of motion. Our story this week is going to start in 2016 with a stable self-propulsion system. Although there were earlier works, this journey of discovery begins right here with pivoting masses and real propulsion with no external forces needed. From there, we're going to move on to 2017, where Tokyo used a much wider frame. He put a forward tilt on it. So with each build, Tokyo tested new configurations, like tilting assemblies to shift force distribution. This version self-propelled, but stability did rem remain an issue. In 2017, compound rotating assemblies were used. This prototype produced powerful pulse thrust. It wasn't moving in a very straight line yet, but it was solid proof that directional momentum could be internally generated through inertial propulsion. With a dual rotor system, I'm certain that this would have gone straight. In 2019, Tokyo mounted a version of his system on a bike frame. This hybrid mounted to a lightweight trike was much stronger than the chassis that it was bolted to. It worked, but it exposed the risk of structural failure. It proved the need for purpose-built frame or for fastening it to a much larger, heavier frame. 2020, Tokyo experimented with tilting the mass assemblies. Tilting the rotating assembly helped solve the earlier hopping and jumping issues. It put force downward against the ground as well as forward, which allowed cleaner floor contact and improved drive stability. By 2020, he also was the first one that I had ever seen to ride a device. This was the moment that stopped me in my tracks. Tokyo wasn't just theorizing inertial propulsion. He was riding it a dream that most thought was impossible. In 2022, Tokyo started experimenting with a sliding set of core assemblies. More mass, more motion. The sliding core assemblies produced very strong pulses, but the pulse force was so intense, the entire unit began to jump during thrust. In 2023, Tokyo went so far as to start experimenting with dual linear motion guides. By splitting the sliding system across two different guides, Tokyo tamed much of the pulse behavior and enhanced the directional thrust. It was a very clever upgrade that brought much better control to the system. In 2024, Tokyo started to experiment with a disk drive. This single assembly built build introduced a disk-based system inside a much sturdier frame. Propulsion improved, but gear stress and fatigue of internal components revealed the need for much stronger internals. This brings us to 2025. In 2025, Tokyo started 
introducing a chain-driven system. Although our paths merged years before, in 2025, Tokyo's innovative designs and our roller chain system here at St. Clair Tech R&D was combined for something new and much more powerful. Our collaboration has taken us to great heights and will continue to push both of our works much further forward than it's ever been pushed before. I look forward to many more years of, of working with Tokyo and enjoying his friendship. For more videos of Tokyo in his work, visit his YouTube channel, DFTDMT. The link will be in the description below. And for more videos about inertial propulsion, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button and be sure to put suggestions for internal propulsion systems in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. I read every single one of the comments that comes through. So until next time, please be good to each other and by all means, be good to yourselves. Until next time, Brian.